the Lord tonight has set you free. Yes, sir. Turn around and tell those people. Tell them. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would not tear a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will. I will love a woman. Yeah. Why am I feel like a stranger? I walk. I walk to the fucking streets. I walk the middle of nowhere. Do, am I a stranger to this place? I walk down those lonely steps. Walking down the lonely street. Only by the street light. Don't put everyone know nobody notices me. They walk past by me. Don't make sure I'm okay. Don't even get to know me. Where are the girls at, man? Because how if I went if I had one fucking chance, one opportunity, if I had one fucking wish it'd be bring the fucking amazing girl the, the love of my life into my life right now. But how am I supposed to do that if I if she ain't gonna come? It's alright for people to tell me where where do I go? I'm just I'm, I'm walking on edge like a fucking eggshell, eggshell. I'm just walking on no place, no place. Where do I belong now? Hmm. Rev God, why do you have to put yourself through this? Why do you have to walk on your edge? Well, guess what? My mind is dark, his mind is twisted. It doesn't matter. I'm full of hatred, full of anger. Is that the place where I'm in? That's about all. Peace out. Only just begun. Can't be hit me in the, in the middle of the week, man. I'm, fr I'm fried. I'm fried. Just imagine that there was one. Imagine <laughs> that there was one and you're all pumped up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, so. This is talk just about? beautiful things. That's all I want to talk about, dude. There's people like us that don't understand loss that can speak on beautiful things. Like yeah. this sunset behind us. That's, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, that Hunter Biden um, video is atrocious. I just don't understand how people watch it. Like, all right, this makes sense. You know why it's bullshit? It's what? coming out now after he's president. That would have been Grand Slam pre-debate. Yeah. Grand Slam shit, dude. Yeah, he only the only thing he did was come up on stage when Biden got elected. That's when he came out. Yeah, the only problem was before the debate, he was probably smoking crack with his niece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's probably balls deep in his niece. I mean, yeah, after you said it, it is very obvious that, that he's on something. He's on drugs now. He's on psych meds. I yeah. recognize that. I'm not talking shit, but after my mom died, my dad <laughs> became another person. Obviously, yeah. prescriptions. Yeah, the, the prescriptions eyes. exist. The fake crying was just. <coughs> he insane. did great. The fake crying and the plug. That was beautiful. That was a very smooth roll into beautiful things. I wonder how many takes they did. And uh, CBS is full on. That's, that's what 60 minutes is on. Yeah, it's just the CIA. Yeah, just the CIA. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, they're doing that. And if this was anyone else that isn't Hunter Biden, this dude's laughing about picking up pieces of Parmesan and smoking it. And the chick laughs and goes along. It's like, yeah, yeah, like you're going through the rug like you're trying to find. So I was like, lady, he's talking about smoking crack and doing debaucherous things. Yeah, I mean, I I uh, screenshotted some examples of, like, this is just how you know the media is so hell-bent on, like, this globalist shit, because this is the New York Times. Biden should finish the wall. Right? <laughs> <laughs> how? Dude? Cool, cool, cool. How do they write that? Um, yeah, these are the pods. These are just miners in a pod. Miners lie in pods now. Not children are in cages. Right. So. People under 18. That's them in the pods. Yeah. Like little foil burritos. Sure looks like a cage. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy to watch <clears throat> these people try to sit there and be like, yeah, this is like, this is the pros. Yeah. And some of the reactions of these, uh, so the facility's supposed to be 250 for fire safety. They what, got occupancy. Yeah, yeah, they have over four thousand right now. Right, busy. And uh, the the people that are on like the Biden side of this are like, 
you need to stop overreacting. For many of these kids, this is much better than what, from what they're escaping. Would you consider Free them? food, a roof over their head, security clothes. They even have computers. Get over yourself. Get over That's yourself. That's a tweet. That's a tweet. You can read it. Who is the tweeter? I don't know. I'm just saying. It's, Does it, what's the tweeter's username? It's inside you. <laughs> okay, no, it's not. Because I don't do stuff like that. Uh, Get over it. I'm just saying, like, that's just an example. That's a small example of, like, what's going on. The clown world of the media. Yeah, I don't know how people are watching that. Like, this shit's been going on. Like, uh, obviously, Trump had the kids in cages, whatever. It started with Biden. The cages were built I'm pretty sure Jim, Jim Biden built the cages. I have notes on Corn Pop's Revenge, dude. I'm tired <laughs> of fucking trying to remember the shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, Jim Biden built the cages. Jim Biden also built 100,000 houses in fucking Iran after Obama... He's the one that's teamed Very up with nicely. the company from Alton. What the company Jim? from Jersey, yeah. Jersey, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And got, Frank's the one that killed the guy in Florida. Frank Biden ran into a guy when the dad was on his way to pick up his kids and killed him. Yeah. And uh obviously he has tons of money, six hundred thousand dollar house, uh his and hers Range Rovers, and instead of paying this man that he killed, he took all the money out of his account and gave him nothing. This is why um he calls them all because he knows all the trouble they've been in. You know what I mean? That's why Biden calls them every night just to check up on everybody and just make sure emotionally that they're stable and they're having a good time. I'm sure that's not how the phone call is going. Dude. I'm sure it's like you when you got a phone call from your grandpa telling you to pick up your leather jacket. <laughs> like, Joe, this, is, this, isn't, this isn't Barack. This, this is, is a Jim. picture of him and Hunter, too. Look. Look, he's a different dude with all the plastic surgery. Yeah, he I looks mean, like a fucking... He looks normal there in that pic. Yeah. He just does. He just does not look normal whatsoever anymore. Yeah, he looks like a really old grandma with a bunch of plastic surgery. I hate to pick on the president, but they, the I media mean, is yeah. just fucking. Right. They chuck me softballs, dude. Uh it's infuriating. All all the media, like all the mass shooter, like there's yeah. been like three mass shooter things since the last podcast, and they have all been like either Arab or black, and then it's like ah, oh, never mind. Were, were you the no one? agreeing sounded a lot. Were like, you, huh? Were you the one that said they they were um, dark white? Dark white, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're dark <laughs> white. Nice. I'm dark white in I, July. <laughs> yeah, same. I don't understand how they're like. These are just fucked up fucking people. There, and then like, if it's a white dude, you're on it. AR-15s are the root of all evil. White people with guns are our biggest problem, and unfortunately. I have a fact. And U.S. white are responsible for 1.7% per 100,000 of, of the uh, fire har- firearm homicides. So I don't understand that stat. So, I mean. So fire. It's, it's like a, per one, I don't understand that per 100,000. Firearm homicide rate per 100,000. So. 1, 1.7% of that 100,000 is U.S. white citizens with guns. Okay. Whatever. And it goes up from there. Yeah, whatever, dude. It's just, it's just bullshit. Like they're you're they're, a fucking racist. I'm not a fucking you're racist. Disgusting. They disgusting. they run on this constantly, and then you send me a fucking what is it? Kill all the brutes. Exterminate the brutes. Exterminate the brutes. <laughs> this What's is just up the with the Frankfurt School? Literally, it's the Frankfurt School trying to demoralize you because they're trying to make it so that. You're being being you is bad. Being a strong man is bad. Yeah, being a strong not. white man is your genocide's in your fucking DNA, bro. Mm-mm. Yeah, it is. Not even close, dude. <laughs> I might as well be a dirt person. I'm just saying this is what they're. This is their thing. They want girls to act like fucking tomboys and not be fucking feminine at all, and they want dudes to be new males. Fucking what's, faggot what's, shit. <laughs> Sorry, apologies. Fa- like faggot meaning like yeah, like dude, gay or bro, or pussy. You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are pushing for it hard, but the the whole shit with the fucking conquistadors and all that stuff. It's like, dude, they came over to the Mayans and they were fucking eating each other. I mean, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna bite my tongue until I watch the show. But it's just another fucking grand slam from HBO. Yeah, the- yeah, they're killing it. HBO. Thank God, I know who Q is now. <laughs> yeah, they they've been putting out some real hard hitting evidence. I, while I was waiting for you, I fucking made myself my Spartan food: quinoa, spinach, chicken or grilled or ground beef. I watched that Q thing. Did you finish it? What the fuck? 
That was bizarre. See how that weird shit with the pandemic? It got out of nowhere. Like, everything was about Q. It was and right it was on like Q. talking points. Yes. Yeah. The After dude that. from Anonymous being like, we had a that racist. That dude's a bitch. We had a racist. Yeah. It's like, dude, zero evidence. Chill, yeah. Chill, Anonymous. Chill with dyeing your hair. I, like... I'll I get in that. Yeah, I'll get in that. Attack in a second. the man personally. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I saw some things yesterday which pissed me the fuck off. But yeah, I I was like just chilling, eating, and I was like, "What? Where the fuck is this going?" I know. Oh nowhere. They linked it to like the pandemic. It's like, never, dude, they never got into any of the gematria stuff, and they only picked like a handful of YouTubers, or as they call, yeah, oh them, yeah, Q tubers. Q t- only a handful of Q tubers. Never brought up the fact that one of the last Q tweets that got him fired off everything was the all the list of the people with sexual yeah. um, assault and pedophilia That's, in politics. The crazy thing is online, I've seen a bunch of people be like, no, what are they going to say about Matt Gates now? It's like, just put him on the list of all the other yeah. Republicans <laughs> that are pedophiles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, that, that shit about him being a frat boy and coke and semen on the black dude, dead, suffocated with a bag over his head, like, I'm out, dude. Yeah, if you're if you're one of those bros, I'm not partying with you. Yeah, I, I'm not much of an autoerotic asphyxiation kind of guy, but if Matt Cates is, I've been up around. Chill. I've been close to those frat boys before, working in their houses, and they're fucking dickheads. Yeah, they I are. watched a dude like betting like ten G's on uh, sports, and it was his dad's money. What? Yeah, yeah, that's what my one buddy. He, he also wor- had a camera for filming them fucking the girls, a hidden camera. What? In their room? Yeah. In his, oh, you were at the frat house. I was house. at the frat house. Oh, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah, you were yeah. talking about some like older frat bro. Oh, no. I was way older than these dudes. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was like 27. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is weird that people think it'll like jam you up that Matt Gates is a pedophile. It's like, yeah, kill him. He's a pedophile. <laughs> kill him. Yeah, cool. I yeah. could give a fuck less not, if R from Florida is a, is a fucking pedophile. Kill yeah, them. Not All a huge of them. fan of those boys. Yeah, but that that was just – it was a brutal ass. Watching that um, Q thing and then them spinning that off in the pandemic made zero sense because – makes complete sense, dude. Oh, no, it makes yeah. complete sense for their agenda. But by the time the pandemic came around, dude, I already was publicly saying Podesta's getting arrested. After getting publicly – It's like three years into the Q stuff. Yeah, after getting publicly humiliated a few times, I was like, okay, maybe this stuff isn't the truest, but it's cool still. <laughs> And then, like, I'm, li- I'm like, watching the pandemic shit. I can give a fuck about Q. It's like, oh, Q's the reason no one would wear a mask. And they thought it, it was from a, a lab in Wuhan. <coughs> that was insane. They tried to connect the Wuhan uh, virology lab to Ron Watkins. Mm-hmm. I'm like, get, are you fucking for real? There's a ton of scientists. Yes. Like, most people are like, yeah, this thing's from a lab. Yeah. Like, it doesn't mean it's a bioweapon. Yeah, it just like fucking came out of a lab in Wuhan. My man Fred, I mean, it's just a theory, you know. Fred gets extra to push nervous because of his genetics. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> My man loves that creamy boy. Oh what is that? God. What is that stuff called? What the the cream you put on your hands? It's like antibacterial, the clear stuff. Oh fucking! Um, no, you have <laughs> he, me. I he was lubing. He was lubing him up. I love. I was crying. At the end of that, when Fred gave himself that swag sleeve, that was like three oh, yeah, tattoos, dude. just a full sleeve, three tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just the most bizarre limited hangout I've ever seen in my life. That's textbook. It was like ve- from the very beginning until right before like the last year or two of it. It was cool. It was like right on the money. Like, yeah, this is what's going on. A lot of people like this shit are dickheads. What's up? And then out of nowhere, just put it together real sloppy and was just like, oh, yeah. And even the virus, that was the problem. And when they stormed the Capitol, that was also the problem because of Q. I mean, that's textbook limited hangout. They go, they take something that normies won't know about, but are curious about it. They like, they're like, hey, man, I wonder if Jon Stewart's going to do one on these. Oh, wow. Look, six, six episode miniseries. Boom. Click. Now every human being on the planet is just going to go, oh, Q and I, what, that Jim Watkins weirdo thing? Done. Yeah, fucking Rogan was getting all shitty with it. Too. Nice little bow on top of it. What do you say? Just shitty. I, it's like, I'll, I'll play for you later. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I I haven't been t- a big fan of Rogan lately. It's, even, it's hard to get through. Even when a uh, dude Brewer was bringing up that Corona shit, he, like, gets mad. It's like, dude, what are you <clears throat> mad about? Yeah, it's fucking with his money. I guess. All of these but... topics are, like, fucking red alerts to him, dude. It just, like. That's Spotify cash. 
it's too obvious that this shit's bullshit. And then I, I watched that Mike Yaden. He's the ex uh, vice president of Pfizer. He went in in like November about this shit. Like, dude, we're at the end of the fucking pandemic. Like everything else that's happening is just these weird little embers. And no one can debunk this dude. They're all just like, oh, yeah, he's just acting really different. We don't know him that much. Because I read a Reuters article about him. And it's like, yeah, like he is definitely an anti. He's like leading the charge for anti-vaxxers. And we have no idea why. They said in the beginning he was like pro-vaccine. Like, let's figure this out. Yeah. And they're like, for no reason, he just stopped and turned around and was like, hey, don't take the vaccine. Dude, it's even on a weird far out level of like language. Like anti-vaxxer is just to the point now where they're just say vaccines, all vaccines are good. Yeah. And then it's you know what I mean? Like they they're playing that game. This is this has been a long game that they've been playing for a few years now. Oh yeah. But like to sit there and like you can't debunk this guy. He's saying the fucking PCR test was absolute bullshit. Yeah. It's just gonna find something new. He's saying the like SARS CoV two, he was like, dude, this is no different than SARS that happened or the cold and the flu. Yeah. I mean if the You're chilling. Allegedly if the vaccine works, it will be the cure for the common cold. No one will get the cold anymore. Unfortunately, they're not allowed to do the testing. What They've do you mean? never been allowed to get past animal testing because all the animals die for mRNA vaccines. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he got a bunch of shit on that Reuters article because he came out and said, if you're pregnant, don't take the vaccine. Yeah, because all the said fucking that, animals die when they test this shit. They said the fact that he did that was him spreading dangerous misinformation. I mean, if you, I don't know, man. They, like, obviously, don't. There's a, so much potential money. If they can just put fucking saline in these, things. I know you that's know what, what I mean? I'm saying. It's like that was that, my same deal with the media fucking push is going to be insane. That was my same deal with the fucking virus. It's like why go through the trouble making some crazy virus where you could just get a PCR test and be like, yeah, that's coronavirus. Yeah, sure. Same thing with the fucking vaccine. It can be in the in the super cold, in the fucking warm, whatever the fuck you want it to be. Yeah, I mean this is a slam dunk for everybody. It's water. You divide <laughs> populations with it. Yeah, it's, it's it, it is crazy. It's a win win. Yeah, this just seems like a multi... After watching the Financial Times thing, this is just a huge fucking industry that's going to take the place of something else that is dying. Yeah. From at least what the fuck I can see. But the one thing I forgot to say about the Hunter Biden stuff, which fucking is weird, just because, like, I was just... I was digging, dude. Not the end of the world. I was just digging. Good while, digging, huh? Well, I was, <laughs> well, I was eating my spinach, quinoa, chicken, or ground beef, whatever you want it to be on whatever day. They brought up that Hunter Biden got married to Melissa Cohen. And I was just like, okay, that's weird. Like, who fucks Melissa Cohen? Well, you could call her Jungle Girl if you want. Whoa, chill, 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 chill. Yeah. Well, she's a white chick. And uh, I heard she was from South Africa. Okay, yeah. Hunter Biden and Mel- this is from a few articles. Hunter Biden and Melissa Cohen got married after six days of knowing each other. That's romance. That's love. That's a beautiful thing. She probably wanted a K-1 visa. (laughs) I've been watching a lot of Nine Day Fiance. Hunter and Cohen's relationship moved at warp speed a few days after their first date. He had the word shalom tattooed on his left bicep to match her ink. A few days after that, he proposed. They were married within 24 hours. That's love, baby. (laughs) Well, hi. (laughs) I called my dad and said that we just got married. Hunter told the New Yorker he was on speaker and he said to her, thank you for giving my son the courage to love again. Man, I mean, Do like the dudes just, from Hallmark right for the Biden family. These are just beautiful things. dude. <laughs> these don't make any fucking sense from Joe Biden's mouth. You don't have to be Jewish to be a Zionist. Yes. His dad told him that. Yes. Well, <laughs> Melissa Cohen showing him the way. Imagine being in your 40s and getting Shalom tattooed on your bicep over some sniz. A six-day romance, dude? She's are you 32. Gonna mock, are, would you mock me if that happened to me, dude? I would completely <laughs> understand it. But this dude's going on fucking sex, sexcapades on crack cocaine. It's a mitzvah. Okay. <laughs> so here's where it gets fucking weird. Melissa Cohen is a filmmaker. Surprise, surprise. And she says she was raised... By tribes women in the jungle. And she knows the clicking language. That was her native tongue. That like she that's what she learned before she learned English. 
said Cohen apparently comes with her own bizarre baggage, according to the Daily Mail. 33-year-old who was adopted claims she spent the first few years of her life being raised by African tribeswomen. The self-described jungle, jungle girl says her native tongue, X-H-O-S-A, however the fuck you pronounce that, a tribal dialect. Friends believe she may have embellished some aspects of her background in order to raise money for various conservative pro- conservation projects. When did she get adopted? When she was six. Uh, okay. Sources also re- revealed unsavory details about her former marriage to some fucking rich dude. She decided she wanted to stay in America, so she gave him an ultimatum. And believe me, I'm very, very familiar with this. I'm on season three of 90 Day Fiance. She said, we need to get Honestly, married. it's a great show. Or to get, <laughs> we need to get married to get my visa, or we will have to leave. And it was very manipulative. Despite living a lavish lifestyle on Lavender's Dime, the two ultimately called it quits. She accepted $50,000 payment, kept her two-and-a-half carat ring, and even had her ex-husband finance a one-month trip to Europe to, in quotes, ease the pain of their split. It sounds as if Cohen is something of a free spirit, if you want to call it that, just like Hunter, if you want to call him that. Time will tell if the wild child personalities are a match for, for the long run. Such is life. <laughs> Also, when they got divorced, her and Lavender, she, free spirit, jungle girl, fucked two dream, of his friends. Dream catchers, dude? F- fuck. Are we talking two yoga of his mats friends. and dream catchers? I don't know what this is, but yeah. Anything optional? This chick definitely doesn't shave. She does. Okay. I saw pictures of her. Yeah, she, uh, after the trip to Europe and everything, never satisfied. It's just a reboot. A reboot. She had to get a groove back. Yeah. She had to reawaken her pussy. Yeah, she fucked two of the dude's friends. Yeah, what's the problem, bro? When she was dismayed. That's why you can't get them upset. Always walking around on eggshells around them. Hunter Biden married this chick out of nowhere who has the most murky past on the planet. This chick is just his handler. I believe that one trillion percent. You think that she's, like, supposed to keep an eye on him or, like? Can girls work for the Mossad? I have no idea. Mm, Anyone okay. can be a Zionist. Shalom. <laughs> this thing reeks. Uh, I mean, hey, man, love is love. I guarantee you, Joe, Joe Biden didn't say thank you what for showing. What are you reading from? Wikipedia? No, th- there's Daily Mail, like a few different articles. Okay, yeah. I can't find like anything on this chick. She's just a filmmaker with no background. Yeah. Okay. Besides being a jungle woman. Yeah, it's, I mean, sounds like the origin of a spy. That's what I say. Yeah. Like, this doesn't seem real whatsoever. And they they just blow right over that. I've never heard anything but about that. She's from that. South Africa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from a uh, a very, very strict like She was Jewish, adopted by a uh, very strict Jewish family. So she could just be anything. Yeah. She's just a random orphan. Yeah, but uh, I think she might be Jewish. Uh, and then she grew up in, like, middle class and everything and, like, yeah. went to high school in like Italy and then came back to South Africa for college and finished off at UCLA middle class. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I mean, if you're a filmmaker, I don't consider that like, I mean, that's pretty weird middle class thing. Yeah. This is just the most confusing shit. Like to blow over that, to have this whole entire like speech after or interview after Biden's elected. It's like (laughs) crazy thing. is like So, so Hunter Biden, has had this book in the works. Beautiful things. Beautiful things. Go I'm get definitely it. getting it. Is it on Audible? I'm definitely going to do an Audible. If it, I hope he does it. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, I hope he cries. I mean, Biden's cry so much. They They're cry. so emotional. They're criers. But he's doing a book. He's doing a legit book tour right now. Yeah. So he's on multi. There's a ton of these interviews I can watch. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't know if the Parmesan cheese thing is just for the girl or if he says it multiple times. D definitely does, dude. That's coached beyond belief. The, the way he's sitting with the fingers oh, yeah. and the legs crossed, like it's completely he's coached. that hog, boy. It's completely coached, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just – it's disgusting for people to sit there and, like, cheer this on. It's like, oh, now this fucking cocksucker has a book deal. Yeah, why not, dude? I mean, come on, man. Didn't fucking – did you not read Triggered? I read Trigger. <laughs> no, obviously not. It just makes zero sense. Like, like they're like sitting there clapping for him for having seven years sobriety. It's like, dude, he's fucking forty. 
Congrats. Yeah. You were sober for fucking seven years. We don't have to get the fucking whole entire, like, band out because he didn't do crack for fucking seven years. If his sister's diaries got any truth to it, I understand why the dude was never sober. What do you mean? His oh, sister has a Joe? diary about fucking her dad showering with her and while she was, like, of age of having sex. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, probably 15, maybe. Yeah, I mean... It, it it's weird to watch that and like watch CBS do that and have. Just think about how the president of the United States might have been showering with his daughter when she was fifteen. To make sure she gets in all the nooks and crannies. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's weird to watch the fucking CBS do this and be like, oh yeah, we really held his feet to the fire and asked him about barisma, and all he said was, I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't. I didn't think it was wrong. There's multiple. Uh, I don't. It's not Burisma, but the company that they go through the Rosemont thing. Rosemont there's, Seneca. There's yeah. multiple of them. That, oh, yeah. There's like they're like multiple shell companies, and they don't go. Obviously, they don't go into the Heinz kid and that, or the Whitey Bulger's nephew. No, it's that, weird because yeah. when you're watching that Corn Pops Revenge, like Ryan Dawson's talking all about all that, and the way allegedly he gets hooked up with Whitey Bulger's nephew is because he became a lobbyist. Hunter became a lobbyist for fucking what's it called? Online gambling. And, like, the dudes who run online gambling, as you know, there's there's people running that. And there's people th- swaying you to lose. And you can thank Woody Bulger's nephew for that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that, I don't think online gambling is good. Well, I mean, what I, I'm playing pool, so that's different. <laughs> yeah, no way they could just make you lose. I think they did. Yeah. I was getting up. I was getting up there. I think it might be a racket. We might have to just go back to eight ball. Yeah, yeah. Mini clip. Might have to go back to mini clip. <laughs> mini clip's I'm a never. Champion. <laughs> mini clip has never let me down, dude. I mean, I used to play mini clip forever. Like I was young playing mini clip. They have a good reputation. Whatever you were on, I think they might be stealing your money. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust it at all. After like hearing like the, one of the lobbyists is Hunter Biden, it's like okay, something's up here. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to, you know, go over to the Ukraine and do, like, get paid more than any other oil person. Yeah. He was getting, like, how much? Like, twice or three times as much as anybody else in that position. Yeah, I think he was making, like, six figures a month. In the field, yeah. It's, like, not even normal. Yeah, and people will just blink and then keep it pushing. Yeah, the double standard is kind of aggravating. Yeah, right now it's reaching, like, a boiling point where it's just, like, very fucking annoying. Like this, it's this. just the establishment's back, dude. So America's just gonna have mass shootings. Yeah. Anti-white shit. Yeah. They're gonna tell you that that's impossible, and you're paranoid, and you're crazy. What's impossible? That you see the world like that. Oh, like anti-white you know? stuff. You're gonna be like, oh, okay, cry about it. Yeah. You know that's not real. Well, Even though the, <laughs> that fucking that new show is just like insane. What? The like, dude's like, I come boots? from one of the shithole countries. It's like, hey, dude, they are shitholes. Yeah. Hades you know really I mean? fucked up with no help from the people who are helping making the, make this uh, documentary. Like, Haiti is fucked up from earthquakes. Is that where that dude's from, Haiti? I would assume uh. so. It just sounds like Haiti. But, like, the, all those shithole countries, like, they got fucked up. Earthquakes happen. Fucking preachers and shit come down there, backed by the Clintons, and they get nabbed. They get caught at the Haitian border. No one's helping. Like Trump is just calling it what it is. Did you see Jones? Oh, he caught the little kids going in the cars. Yeah, yeah, did you see that? That was insane. That was cool. What happened? I just saw the clip where like they're like, "Dude, where the fuck are you going?" Like, did anything come of that? Nah, it was probably just it was just funny because Jones like got in front of the car, fucking. That is fucking awesome. First on the scene. Yeah, I mean, it is. Dude, I saw a fucking sixty minutes thing with um. When they go to MIT's, uh, what is it called? Boston. Oh, Boston yeah. Dynamics. Did you watch that? No, no. Holy shit. I got to show you this, dude. Hold on. This is insane. Okay. Is that spooky? What? Is yeah. that video spooky? When those things. Boston Dynamics. I don't like when they fucking walk on all fours like that. There's something about, like, when it went under the table, like, that is just some black mirrors. Oh, like, yeah. they're going to kill you type shit. Well, that's what... If they can do that, I'm starting to think, like, if that's where they're at now, and they're pushing for the singularity in 2045... What's it, like, everything's connected? Yeah. 
supposedly like there might be some weird like Rosicrucian fucking ritual or whatever, but they started in 1945. They started computers. Okay. And it's like a hundred year plan to go into AI internet, computer like learning. the Internet of Things type shit. Yeah, and like the Ray Kurzweil type dudes, they're like the kings of this shit. And every 25 years, there's a big like leap. So like we're hitting one right now hitting, this year. We're hitting 25 years. Yeah, well, the first, you know, every 25 years. So we're just about to hit one now. And then the final will be 2045. That's also around about the same time that China's doing, uh, you know, 2030 to 2045 is going to be terrifying, Fuck. I think. When yeah. I see that shit. When uh, I see shit move like that and it's only 2020, give that motherfucker another 10 years. And that's what they're showing you. But, and but at the end of the day, yeah. that's just what they're showing you. <clears throat> it's so funny like Anderson Cooper's like oh because we really like they did like a ton of COVID tests so he explains in the beginning of that thing like why none of them have masks and they're not social oh distancing. my god so dude. brutal dude are you serious yeah I mean I there's it's 13 minutes I don't want to waste your time watching <laughs> that it. is crazy I've been picking up on some fucking weird shit like I was in Wawa the other day yeah and I'm sitting there it was fucking packed dude and the lady just goes like to the fucking thing like Bring the masks and gloves out. Uh, put them on sale. Like, is it like this shit's coming to a fucking end? And they know it. Oh, uh, it's coming to an end for this. They're they're gonna they're gonna use the summer economy. There's a whole economy of the summertime. Yeah, they're not gonna lose it. They did. They gave it to us last year. Yeah, but it's just fucking bizarre. Like, why not the all the shit that happens in the fall and the winter? But I'm just saying, like, that's there's so many industries that are just. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It's just it's just fucking bizarre for like watching every like I I was driving around today and I guess it's a win win for them though. I'll just claim it's a spike. Yeah, <laughs> they'll yeah. just say this is why there's back. Yeah, and then even though anyone on the planet can shit on me for not fucking taking this shit seriously, but the numbers are out. Texas is chilling. Yeah, Florida's chilling too. Texas is ki- chilling. Drop the G, dude. They're chilling. Florida's dude. fucked with the water, dude. What do you mean? They have reservoirs that are like next, oh, yeah, next to industrial that. shit. Yeah. And like as sea level rises and their infrastructure falls apart, their drinkable water is going to become poison. It will. And then like those guys that are investing in water must know that there's way more reservoirs that are going to go <sighs> bad because How no fucking one maintains. How off do you have to be to be invested in water? I mean, if you're, this is how these guys operate. You have to be That's at the end of that movie. Manipulator, What's that bro. fucking movie, dude? The Big Short or whatever? Yeah. The end of that movie, the guy says, invest in water. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> I mean, that's like number one. That's the number one weapon. Fuck with people's water. Yeah, don't they do that to fucking Palestinians? Oh, yeah. That is fucked. Then they sit there and call them idiots for not being able to dig wells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, all we can do is fucking you drink your wobble pops, me get my seltzer, and we're just gonna have to keep on pushing. Cause it's I, nighttime, dude. I work. I'm working doubles all week. I'm technically this is work. So yeah, technically you are working. Technically I'm working. So Not doing a great asks. job of it, but beach please. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> yeah. That that was uh, yesterday. We sprayed out that r- roof and that. Uh, That's the ceiling. Place. Yeah, that's cool. Sure. Right? So you see the <laughs> sun Inside we down. call them. Sundowners. That's a thing, right? You, you have sundowners. I have sundowners. Yeah, you have sundowners. I just hope you Who? make <laughs> the same effort that you made with Matt and Shane that you make with me. That's all. The lights are on, <laughs> dude. Me, we're chilling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We I, do we, have that sleepy vibe. We do this every fucking day. So at the end of the day, something like we'll be talking on, in the car every now and then. People will fucking zone out. You'll do something else. Yeah. yeah. Matt and Shane, it's like two stars right next to me. <laughs> you're excited you're an excited boy i'm I'm sitting in a different all seat these lights are on yeah all these fuck off lights are on this no offense because obviously this is happy making time feels like i'm watching a movie with my girlfriend you know when you're watching a movie with your girlfriend you're just kind of like bro mm. can we have one where you don't get gay it's not gay i'm just saying this I is mean, what it, bro that's beyond gay it's not that's beyond romantic gay. Gay. it's not it's not beyond gay sun's going down cute <laughs> tree behind you is literally blooming cute it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing we share that word together <laughs> but i mean that's just if you if you hit me with a nice i mean he's so right like hunter's right like hunter's great it's just where was this motherfucker in september what's he right about just about fucking love 
Bro. You know what I mean, no, man? No, he's not. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> rile me up. Sun's going down. Don't rile me up. What's more powerful, man? It's getting. It's keeping him clean, Not fucking bro. your niece. Keeping him clean, bro. Yeah, I mean. Only someone that can fuck their own niece and marry or fuck his brother's w- his dead brother's wife. Yeah. Only somebody like that would get Shalom tattooed on their fucking arm. <laughs> well, that's for his other girlfriend. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Don't judge someone, dude. You might do it. I might walk in I this podcast never. one day and you're just, you're just going to have Shalom tattooed on <laughs> your bicep. I got the vaccine. What, dude? I have to travel. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm we're, ready for we're an We're going a- to Europe. I'm, I've never gotten it. I never saw anything. I'm ready for an agent to fucking approach you and I will put my head down and be like, understandable. <laughs> At least let him enjoy this. No big deal. I'll continue all of my life. But, I mean, it's just the sun, all that stuff. Sometimes we get tired. But. Let me shut the thing? No, 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 no. I like that. I need that. What about the salt lamp? Let's get the salt lamp on. Oh, yeah, I got it. Don't worry. All right, there we go. Yeah. I, I also. This is nice. I have we to, had the sunset. Now we got the lamp. I mean, the sun pretty much just shot into there. We should probably there. just smoke DMT again. Yeah, the. Uh, I'm I'm not like bragging, but I have to get up at three thirty tomorrow morning. Doesn't matter. Got to get my car inspected. But uh, what the hell was I just about to say before that? I was looking at the sun going down. The crazy shit is you're the only dude I know that can early bird Dennis. Yeah, and he's a marine, dude. <laughs> Maybe I love marines so much I early bird him he's, just he's to go right, extra phased. hard. He rolls in like what? I'm so, like that crazy white guy in black gangs. I just have to go extra hard because I'm not in the military. <laughs> Because I'm too much of a bitch. But, yeah, I mean, oh, we were talking about that, spraying out that ceiling. Driving through there, you literally feel like you're in They Live. Yes. we're walking up the street, no mask, it's fucking 70 degrees out, couldn't be nicer. You're getting death stares from people sitting at a restaurant. Yeah. Drinking infinity wobble pops. They got them. ABV over there? Yes. High. Yes, dude. High. They Those got, are the craft boys. These are dude, Tecates. I know. Dude, they had like – the one dude had the whole table covered and one underneath. Oh, you walked by. I walked by him yeah. four or five times. And like they look over at me like, this motherfucker. Like, dude, you're drinking. Like, well, you're like you're technically like sloshed. in their restaurant. Like they were probably like kind of heated your walk. I'm walking like, through that like Boston Dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> I had the little you're, flashlight. You're, cha- like, you're chappy, rant, dude. Rant, rant. <laughs> yeah, I was walking through there like Conor McGregor. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like the these people are smarter than No hell. one's going to know like regular people, I would imagine, unless you're in like San Francisco, I don't even think New York would be as bad as that. The polit- the politicization of West Philadelphia is yep. insane it because is of the crazy. trans community population, big time, and the weird shit they have with the gentrification. Yeah, and I'm almost positive critical race theory was born at Penn. Yeah, you know it, what it I looks mean. Like, like that kind of shit. At least it's Ivy League horseshit. You know what I mean. So yeah. that that school is a feeder school. Like that's a, like a prep school. Yeah, it's a public school, but it's like those kids are meant to go to Penn. Yeah. You know what I mean. They're, they're, they're the not elite getting, the uh, yeah. But like, they're not like us. Biology textbooks from 1979. Nah. McGraw Hill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm retarded. And I'm walking down this. And people are staring at me like I'm a psycho. They're out. They're in the seat so they can yeah. have their mask people off. People there hated me pre pandemic. So I'm not really going to. I'm not a good test subject. <laughs> I look at them. And I'm like, wow, these are like smart ass people that have scrubs on. They're saving lives, doing God knows what behind closed doors. And I'm staring at a ceiling with paint fucking little speckles coming down to my eyes like, yeah, I think everything looks good. I can't see shit. <laughs> I'm retarded, dude. So dumb. And I know that this is stupid. It looks like, good. What no, it looked good. I'm yeah. saying like my stupid ass eyes, I'm looking up at something. My eyes already suck. Yeah. And then just little particles yeah, yeah. of wet paint just covering my eyes and I'm just blinking. Like, yeah, that's good. And I look over at these people and like. This is why I was saying before when the, everyone's like, oh, my God, you're not masked. It's like. You see how big uh, spray paint, when yeah. you spray, you see how big the particles are. You can yes. feel them. That shit still is in my nose through all those filters. Through the respirators, yeah. Yes. So it's like, dude, those things don't even stop paint that big. Yeah. Well, what? How big is the fucking virus, man? It's really sneaky. <laughs> dude. 
Dude, but what the fuck? if you're bored at home on the Dude, weekend I, and you like, knit your own, you can wear that. Yeah, I was getting my hair cut, and the chick was like, I mean, I see people, like, and they don't even know, like, that's not even how masks work. Because I said, like, she's like, oh, dude, th- do people make you wear a mask when you work? And I was like, nah, not a lot, like, sometimes. But I was like, we have masks a lot for the dust. Yeah. And she was like, I know, but that's different. Like, that's not how they, that's not how they work. What? Yeah, this is, like, what she's saying. She was, like, shitting on you? She was, yeah, she was just kind of saying, like, yeah. She was schooling you on She's schooling microviruses. Me on so, like, if you the have, like, a, if pretty you have much like a, a if you have, like, a no handmade offense. quilt Etsy mask, that's going to protect you. Yep. Or a bandana. But if you have a, you Cute know, bandana will protect you. If you have it one has of the, to be cute. If you have one of those 3Ms with the fucking, you know, the little plastic boy. Oh, yeah. That, those are the goats. That's not going to do anything. No, nothing better than the three. They got rid of I mean, once I like them because came. you can feel it and go, it gets that little click. Yes. You know what I mean? And you're and like, I'm getting air. Like, I freaked the fuck out even before the pandemic and all that shit. I've hated masks my whole life. You're not trying to be a tough guy. I'm not trying to be a tough guy. I hate masks. I'll take the fucking particles. Yeah. And everyone's always known that about me. Like, at work. It's like you're, what you're known for. It's what I'm known for. I mean, I'm not bragging. You're not saying you're the first anti-masker. But. I've just seen a lot of guys uh, at work when they have kids. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, it's like, is there a lead in this? Yeah. Masks. Yeah. Gloves. Just what am I, dude? Just get a big I'm a natural bottle. dude. I'm sure that my body's going to sort it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I agree with that. I'm on another level. As above, so below. Yep. You know what I mean? There's polarization. Your lungs pretty much look like tree roots. Like, <laughs> so cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm, My, macrocosm, microcosm. I'm 100% with you. Whatever. Oh, dude, let me show you this picture of the Sphinx, bro. You're oh, going okay. to flip the fuck out. Yeah, but dude, walking through that neighborhood and just, like, you can feel the fucking... Yeah, the hate, yeah. Not even the hate, just the angst. Like, these people are smart as fuck. Damn, angst. Great word. I know, dude. I was just in, I was just in Penn's campus. Come on. <laughs> but, like, you see these people, and they're not stupid. Like, these people are fucking smart. No, they are. It's that Dunn-Kruger thing. What? Yeah. What's that? Like, um, if you th- if you think you're smart, it actually makes you dumber. Right. Because you're like, I know stuff. But if you're okay. just like, what's going on? If what's you're going just, on? Yeah. yeah. Like, gotcha. you're open. Uh, you're not dogmatic. Like, you're open ideas. You'll be like, okay, maybe that's not the way I thought it was. Yeah. It's just basically like left side brain, right side brain. I can't even get into it right now. Dude. You are so meta. <laughs> Hold on, check this out, dude. You're gonna flip the fuck out. Oh yeah, can I borrow your charger? How much oh, do you have? Fucking I got God, five, dude. dude. I got five, bro. I'm halfway there. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> Just on. know that's real. What's this? That's a Sphinx. Bro. Yeah. How do you know that's real? Actually, I don't. They're saying the Sphinx I mean, is on never, a temple platform. I've never been there. But it is weird that they won't let you dig underneath of that. I've never been there, but I mean, hey, bro. Yeah. I mean, yeah, fuck. It's fucking me up with that. And obviously, messages from people I tell shut up constantly, and they never shut up. The uh, Yeah, just like the people in West Philly, because I've been doing cans in one section of it. It's like they are just like they want to find someone to bitch at. Well, hold on. I'm trying to find out if this is real or man made. Keep talking. Okay. Yeah. It's just like it, if you're walking around somewhere like, fuck, Havertown or something like that, at the end of the day, not many people are like looking you up and down like, what is he wearing? Is this person a threat? Are they cool? Like, you just mind your own business as yeah. you do in America. Uh-huh. You go into West Philly and it's like some weird. Well, dude, it's weird for you though. because it's weird for you because it's recently, you know, like right around the Trump time when they started the whole culture war thing or whatever. I think that was when there was like a generation of people that are in that critical race land. Yeah, came into like some kind of power or started to work because it's not okay to be white and be like proud. Or yeah. like, and by proud, I mean like walking normal. Yep, yep. You know what walking I mean? Walking with and your like chest how up. fucking and dude, this is gonna sound bad right. to regular people that it's didn't see off. what I saw. Go off, king. But how about that fucking <laughs> angel, that Phrygian bay dude, walking with that? Oh yeah. And I don't want to yeah. s- cause a hate crime. Yeah. Because the Asians are under fire right now. He was walking but I mean, with an bruh. Eastern man. But I mean, bruh. Take that how you will. <laughs> but I mean, bruh. Yeah. You saw that. I saw it. That's the confusion <laughs> to me, dude. When I'm like, yo, I'm here. Maybe he's I'm cool. getting shit done. 
I got a check for you that I made. My, I'll show you how much I, you know how much I make. Come on, man. <laughs> Why don't Come you on, show man. her the check? <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense, but it seems like a lot of the, a lot of those dudes around that area that are getting bait up seem to be subservient. Like they're just like, okay, yes, whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's the Sphinx in Pakistan. Did you even know that there's another Sphinx? No, bro? I didn't. World, it was a worldwide culture. Fuck. I'm just saying, dude. It's a, it was a worldwide civilization that they're trying to keep under wraps. Right on. I was. I. I just started listening to your uh, start seed thing before you came All right, here. Don't don't talk about that on the cast because people think that's goofy shit. But it's not. <laughs> I mean, dude, we can talk about whatever. But obviously, you're a star seed. Maybe I am too. Maybe <laughs> six density. I have no idea. But fuck, dude. Man, motion. I can't. I can't. Uh, I try to be cool. I try to look at everyone in West Philly and just say, hey, what's up, dude? Now, nah, they've, they've gotten nasty in the last couple of years. They're very they nasty. They used to tolerate me, and I was kind of like, oh, he's kind of goofy. Yeah. And then it was just like, oh, no, fuck. Like, he's... Dangerous. We know what he is. You're dangerous. Yeah. And no offense to you, dude, you ain't. <laughs> You're not scaring me. I don't see you and go, that's a dangerous guy. I say, happy-go-lucky. Yeah, obviously. Fun. Cool. Can be cutie when he wants to be, depending on what hey, time man. it is. <laughs> Give me the shovel. What shovel? Give me the, you're, digging, you're digging yourself a hole here. Right? I'm not, dude. <laughs> Anyone on the planet can call me gay, and all I have to do is hit him with the Hunter Biden response to Brisma. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that I was on Brisma's board for any malicious reasons. Like you don't even think the optics were weird a little bit? No. <laughs> Why would they be? Yeah, I mean it's crazy. When he they're probably trying to clean up Biden before he goes. I mean, he's only going to be around for another couple months. Yeah, that dude is like fucking he's gone. Bodied. He's gone, dude. Watching his speeches, like you can just tell that like that I'm no doctor, but that dude is fucked up. Like I I understand it's very fucking weird that all this shit happened because all that dementia talk on Trump like that, like these people were spouting off when Trump first got in the yeah, office. But they know he's it's got different, dementia. though, dude. They they don't care. Like they don't care. But how? It's the same thing. How they hate you when you were walking by in West Philly. They so many enemies. Yeah, the adversaries. I have yeah. adversaries. Yes, and, and I have the, more adversaries than a dude addicted to many per forties. <laughs> but it, that the hate for Trump wasn't about Trump. It was about you. He was just standing in their way. Exactly, bro. Damn, that's deep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it really is. Like, they just, it, you could see that in the Philadelphia subreddit comments where it's, you would see the black, it was back in the summer when the Black yeah. Lives Matter shit was going on. People were fucking going crazy, blowing everything up. And then they would protect a, a statue and they would just eviscerate the dudes protecting the statue. Like, they're fucking pieces oh, yeah, of yeah. trash. They've never been outside of South Philadelphia. They're fucking it's disgusting. It's so funny, too, because it's like, Oh, do you do you want me to help you with that? You want me to take a crack at it? They're called guineas. Yeah, they're fucking retarded guineas. <laughs> do you want me to help you? Yeah, like your your insults are trash. Yeah, they're just, they're just they've never been out of South Philadelphia. Yeah, they're pretty boys. They're mama's boys. They're gin balls. Yes, they're ginzas. That would be somewhat <laughs> hate speech, but not really. Yeah, it's just like to watch them use everything they hate because you know they're racist. Oh, beyond belief. And yeah. they just destroy the fucking poor it's white It's like dude. the fucking dude from X-Men. It's like he's got the, I can't remember, Cyclops. He can't fucking do his eyes until they give him the glasses. It's like they got all the racism, and then they yeah. give him the thing, and they're like, oh, yeah, white dude. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. That, that is all it is because they were <clears throat> ripping those statue dudes. I mean, they're terrified of black dudes. Yeah. Like, that's just a fact. Uh, well, I saw that. When like, I was, they're just literally, and the, and that fear, they internalize it. And then they sit there and they fucking turn it into, like, anxiety. Yeah, when I was. They're like, why do I, why are they like this? Oh, it's systemic? Well, who did the system? White guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really rich Irish dudes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was driving to the job and I saw this chick, her and her. Dude, our feet just touched. Yep. Chill. Her and her <laughs> life partner. I don't know what the. Also, that was very annoying about West Philadelphia. Too Same many traps. Partner. Well, no, too many traps. 
Like, I looked over at someone getting on a bike. It's like, yo, Snizzer. All right, dude, I'll see you later. I was like, fuck. So annoying. Foiled, dude. <laughs> Take the mask off. Yeah, but this chick, like, this black dude was sitting there, like, talking it's weird, to Weird, because sh- they're hippie. Mm hmm. But they're bearded. What? You know, they're bearded, but they'll be, like, wearing, like, clothes that are kind of tight. Yeah. And they're, like, hippie. Like, they're girly. Yes. So you'll be like, Is that estrogen pills? Sh- you'll see their shape coming up on the bike, and you'll be like, yo, it's a chick. Yeah. And then you look, and it's a mask, so you still can't until it's like you're driving. It's like, oh, I'm I'm not fucking gay. thing out of beard. Fuck. <laughs> Baphomet. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me like three times while I was there. And like, dude, if you're a kid growing up in that, you're a confused little boy. Dude, I went on a date with a girl that liked to be tied up. Right. I don't know if I've ever talked about this before. But uh, I've only been on like fucking a couple dates, though. Yeah. She... There was a couple that tied her up, and the kids would go upstairs, or the kids would be in the ba- the kids would go in the basement and play board games, and the parents would play upstairs. Bolsheviks? Are you serious? Yeah. And that's the chick that was like, "What are you into?" And I was like, "Girls." Missionary. <laughs> yeah. She's like, "What are you into?" And I was like, mm, "I don't know, just girls." Trying real hard not to come for yeah, five and minutes. Then it, and then it was weird. <laughs> yeah, five minutes. Jesus. And then there was like a, whatever. The family was there. Like, she was like, oh, that's my friends that, like, tie me up. And I was like, weird coincidence meeting them here. Kind of bumping into them. What did you want me to even do? kind of weird. Untie you? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, It's like rope play. It's the whole thing. That's that's knot sex. That's what Hunter Biden would call it. I have a book on knots. And I can only tie, like, two knots. Yeah. That's a flex being good with knots. It's like a half hitch knot. It's, like, so useful for scaffold. Wow. Yeah. All right. It's boring stuff. Yeah, but... Just like that, the whole vibe there is just like, if that's what a, you you think a utopia is, dude, it's really bad. Like, it doesn't make you feel good. There's like yeah. no real. Fe- it it seems like a place. Thousands that- of years of cultural evolution, dude, brought down by oh, just be what you want to be. Not even. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. It's like, please be something else. <laughs> You're not you. Remember? It's like oh, all those degenerate urges you have, go for it. Make yeah. that your entire identity. It's like, it's, it honest to God, from just walking through that, it's a very, very fake, like a facade of a yeah. fucking cool place, void of real love. Oh, yeah. I that, mean, real. You uh, can feel that one trillion percent. Real all it. feelings. Yes. Yeah. It seems like I've never taken it, but if you were on Prozac, that's what West Philly seems like walking through that kind wow. of. Wow. Seems you know, you like really that. do have a good point there because collectively, they're all on it. Collective psych meds would have like a vibe. Yes, you know what I mean. Like, like if you were at a like a fish concert, you kind of know everyone's partying the same. like that. I was literally just gonna say that, dude. <laughs> oh, best podcasters of all time. But like, I went to your uh, family's house on Easter, and that's just a very comfy vibe. Yeah, everyone's chilling. Yeah, but like, um, I think you might be onto something with. I really think you might be on something with that. It's, it's because literally they, Prozac, they are right? all on psych meds. It's They're seen... all in therapy. Oh, yeah. They're all in, like, mega amounts of therapy. According to The Sopranos, that's a Jew racket. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. You said it. I also agree with that <laughs> heavily. But, yeah, I mean, you walk through there, and like you can you can just see all the people, the way the yeah. dudes fucking walk, the way the chicks are just kind of, like, trying and to dude, look dude, it's, pissed. like, never enough. Yeah. It's, like, how did we – we did that with the quickness. Yep. I'm getting texts. Oh, when yeah, is it going to be done? Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like face. they just don't have any clue on like how anything works. Yeah. It's I mean, all like it's a bunch of people on psych meds, which I do believe that you're rolling with here. And I think it, I think giving your giving that much attention to yourself, like going to therapy and all yeah. that stuff makes you very like um, self-centric. Oh, yeah, dude. Where like they're all little narcissists. Def- I mean, you, you don't know? matter that much to spend that much money on all that shit. Like, you really don't matter that much. Just try to help other people. Yeah. There's your beginning and end of therapy. Service to self, service to others. Yeah. I mean, all these people are sitting there looking for the answers, and all they have to do is just go out there and just start being fucking nice to people. Like, that whole place seems like a fucking bear trap where they're just waiting for someone to slip up. And they're all eating outside of a bar that they fucking protested and said was racist. Like, Two years ago. It's over that. It's over now, though. Hey. You know. How? Maybe, you know, I don't know. 
I don't understand any of these things. It's just the thing that frustrates me is the hypo- hypocrisy. And then I'm really going to, like you just said that. I never, I never thought about that before. But that might be a, a lot of what's going on is the psych yeah, meds. Everyone's on fucking psych meds. <clears throat> yeah, I've never thought about that before. I mean, like if you go through Clark Park, so fucking sick. The park is fucking yeah. sweet as fuck. But if everyone was there on coke... It would be fucking brutal. Exactly, yeah. That's what I'm it saying. It would be the worst park on the planet. Well, the world, like, you know how I'm sitting here all the time and it's like clown world, nothing makes sense? Yeah. It's like, well, if everyone's on psych meds, get maybe Prozac. all of this makes complete sense. And you're just not on Prozac yet. Yeah. We need to get you medicated, dude, so you can stop. Caring. I mean, like, the, the from, like, the West Philly chick that was like, this is, your conspiracies aren't funny anymore after yeah. the insurrection or whatever. Yeah. And I was just like... No, they are. And she's like, these people are... I can't remember what she said. I was like, oh, you're looking for the word patriot. They're, oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, they're patriots. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, spaz. It's just like, dude, I mean, if you're all on psych meds and you're all therapied up, this is probably so... It's That's probably way too much to handle. Like someone... That's terrifying. Yeah, like people that would be that different from somebody that's on meds talking about themselves for like two hours a week. Yeah, I mean, just imagine a zip code that has probably had four real boners in a year. Like, this is just the world of flaccid dongs, dude. No mm-hmm. one's trying to get hard for the bays. No one's trying to impress the bays. You're well, just fucking bays working. Ha- their bays have the – they're stone tops, bro. What's stone top? The girls don't take it. They peg? They peg. But that hurts. Also, I just read <laughs> some, I read some the day that someone called the vaccine the Fauci ouchie. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is it is depressing. Like that is my number one example of why everyone shouldn't be taking medication and should just try to do it other things. Makes a whole lot things. more sense, man. How you take a regular dude. There's regular looking dudes. There's you've seen the downfall of great men in that neighborhood. Regular looking dudes and then it's like, "All right, well, maybe if their wife kind of psyops them into Going and talk to somebody. Yeah. You know, if you get in enough fights with Bay, you're going to go end up talking to somebody. Yeah, it's either and that it's either, or you, you, you go apart. You're either talking solo. Well, if you have some tykes, dude, you're talking to somebody. Yeah, yeah. So obviously. you're either. How angry are you? You're either talking solo or with her. You could just be like, yo, babe, I'll go by myself. Yeah. You I know what I mean? That. This is all me. Uh-huh. And then that's how you see the guy with the fucking face diaper, the face diapies. You know? Yeah. Mulching their gardens with a face type, you dude. Damn. You want me to shut this? No, 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 no. You're good. Don't shut that. The, um, no, just the feel, like, all the shit we've been watching and seeing, like, all the fucking weird 60 Minutes, all the World Economic Forums, I don't like that stuff. The same way I don't like fish music. It's not my shit. Yeah. But on Prozac, that is probably the most, like, the TikToking and the comfiness of all those. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, here I'm a, we are, the vocal fry. Yeah. That is probably, like, I mean, there's a chick what heroin that's feels on like. The, there's a chick from, that they play on, and no agenda, the NPR chick, yeah. that drives me up a fucking wall. Yeah. And it's like, you know what, though? If I'm medded up, this is probably just the comfiness. This is the soothing. Yeah, it probably feels like someone's kissing your ears over Who now, knows, man. dude? Yeah, I don't know. Damn. You're you might have cracked the fucking code, bro. You might have you might have broke the matrix. <laughs> Only on my third seltzer. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that all that whole that whole vibe makes more sense if it's just all antidepressants. Yeah, just blows though because obviously I don't, know, no, I don't know enough about psych meds, but I know people have like anxiety, depression, and it, you know if you can know if you can take those things down. Yeah, that'll change so much stuff because, like. If I have anxiety or if I'm nervous or whatever, I'll start ripping beers. Yeah. And I'll start joking around because I'm trying to break the ice, man. Yeah. And that creates a vibe. You know what I mean? Yes. But if you medicated me, I would sit at a bar and stare at a soccer game, not knowing what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Just sipping on fucking 7% beer, waiting for my that's Uber to pick me treacherous. up. treacherous. I'm saying that's what they're doing. That's what those dudes are doing. They're pretending to like soccer. And I was always confused because so it's like- gay. You get done work, and you're like, all right, there's some honeys here. Let me drink fucking seven of these things. Yeah. But, yeah. No, wow. That makes a lot more sense. They're just chilling. Wow. I might just be, like, the only dude that's clean. Good chance. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, there's, 
you just feel no drive, nothing. And then, like, I don't know how fucking medication works. I'm sure it's, like, good. I would imagine it's, like, microdosing because when I microdosed and I was like, wow, this is great, I was like, oh, this is probably psych meds. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just guessing because I've never taken psych meds because they're terrifying because when you hear the side effects. Jordan Peterson got body bagged on psych meds. Well, I mean, he? he probably fucking got, he probably started partying, dude. Really? Yeah, man. JP? Make your bed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I He's mean, probably partying a little bit, man. Obviously, some people need them, but. Imagine I'll, if you started coining it and then you have these little pills that kind of get you high. Yeah. I mean, that dude, was started, that dude started coining He's it. a rock star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, obviously some people need them, help some people out, but I'll tell you what, if side effects, <clears throat> sometimes suicide and PP don't work. Yes, which is suicide. Yeah. Kill me now. <laughs> but like, dude, instead of prescribing that, why not have the people in West Philly not sneer at everyone? Why not have them promote a strong family? You were at my fucking Easter. Yeah. If everyone's sitting there chilling, that is a good feeling. Yeah, I don't have that in my life. Yeah, so that's that's as good as yeah. Prozac's going to be. But <clears throat> you could do that. Or if you have an agenda, maybe eugenics, you can promote, oh, go away from your family. They fucking hate you. They don't want you to be the woman that you're supposed to be. Well, if all the treasure in the world was in Europe and the Western world, you would want it and you wanted it. You would have to take down the Western world. And in order to do that, you'd have to break their, the individual. Yeah. You have to break the idea of – so, like, you're not going to go defend your family or your country if you're from a broken family or a broken country. Exactly. So, like, they're going to annihilate you mentally. Like, the mental psyop comes first. Yeah. I mean – You know? That's why I get jammed when people are, like, so anti on the fucking patriotism stuff. It's like, yeah, you don't got to go that ham, but this is where we live. Yeah. If push came pumped. to shove, would you be grabbing a gun with me or would you be fucking stabbing me in the back and going, just take me, just take me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pussy. Pussy ass, dudes. Yeah, that was... Uh, it always just makes you feel shitty whenever I'm there. And then you come back here and you're like, dude, this is a fucking mainly Puerto Rican neighborhood. Everything's fucking cool. They still have families. They're very family-oriented. Yeah, I think that the whole... No one's deal. trying to take down the Puerto Ricans, dude. They don't have anything. Yeah. That's why I think it's purposeful. Yeah, good point. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if you wanted to take down the World Bank, or, like, the, if you wanted to take down, like, London, Paris, Berlin, New York. Yes. You know, like, if you want to take down these places, you got to take down the people the that... The individual. The individuals in that country. The strong individuals to that the point where hundreds of years. Not only will they not want to protect their country, they'll actually think Fight it's evil. It. Yeah. And grow up in a school where they'll be like... Your countries are the reason that everything's fucked. You guys are the colonizers. Right. You guys commit genocide by not even like by your actual presence, by your whiteness. Yeah. Honestly, not trying to argue, but I think pretty chill to be around me. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, there's people that wouldn't call us white and you know that. (laughs) What do you mean? There's people that would say we're not even white. So. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. (laughs) Yeah, the the weird like perversion to the uh, the KKK stuff is just like so bizarre. Like how they're like jonesing for that to be like a real thing that's running the country. Oh, it's the, like, dude, the Klansmen white, just yeah, aren't they, running the country. <clears throat> they want to say the fascist stuff, and then they want to connect it to race. Yeah, you nah. know what I mean. But it's just not in America. It's not. No, I, I yeah. think. Charles Barkley just had some, like, viral clip about it. It's like, dude. Oh, Charles Barkley's always cool, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a beast. But, like, he was saying, he goes, dude, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. He's like, everyone is just cool. At yeah. the end of the day, most people. Bill Cosby was racist as fuck. Yeah. Bill Cosby did not like the white people. Yeah. But, like, dude, and Charles Barkley's 100% right. Like, most people are just trying to fucking chill. Yeah. Like, you, the only people you're going to see and be, like, notice are someone who's either acting very good or very bad. Well, like, you don't – the media will pick up shit that is ad- advantageous to their plans. Mm-hmm. And it's like – this is why I get in trouble because it's like, okay, so I think someone's trying to take down the Western world. Yeah. And they openly called it the Frankfurt School before. Yes. They have an agenda. 
They were mad in San Diego, so you know they're evil. Well, it's just like the media will pick up this stuff and run with it, and and it's kind of you could sit there and be like, it's kind of a conspiracy, I guess. But like, who the fuck owns the media? Why are yeah. they doing this shit to us? Take a look at Hollywood. Yeah. Why the fuck is everything the same goddamn shit? And it's like nonstop this new shit on HBO, like everything. It's like. Yeah. It's like you were bad for even being born. We're, and that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, we're fucking so dude, stupid. I'm, t- I'm also tired of hearing about, oh, they do this to black dudes. Dude, they do bad shit. <laughs> I, get yeah, up and, I get up speaking, every day and yeah, go to work, and they're like, historically, they're you come from a genetics that actually oppress people. Yeah. You know, it's like, what the fuck? What is this? Yeah. And then yeah. you'd be like, actually, no, there was actually, there was like a slave uh, trade of what? It's not the same. It's like, well, there was also like sharecropping. How dare you? It's like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Did you know that there was 5 million Native American slaves? Really? 5 million. There was 1 million imported here from Africa. Oh, my five God. 5 million Native American slaves from the time that Columbus landed to 1900 when they stopped counting. I'm just saying, so it's fucking. Some dude no one like, even knows about it. the fucking serpent mounds and the goddamn civilization that was here before they before they came here, dude. They didn't colonize Red-headed shit. Skulls. They sat there and they were like, and the Indians were like, "Yo, man, chill. We already did your whole civilization. This is why we live in teepees." And the whites were like, "Yeah, I don't really believe you, bro." Bonk. Yeah. And war start. <laughs> what the fuck? And they were yeah. and they were definitely fucking. Yes. You know, blue-eyed Indians probably hot as shit. Oh yeah. Kidding me? Fuck, dude. We'll, we'll switch over to the Patreon. I'll let you cool off a little bit. That sun's going down. I turn into a bit of a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs>